super special shout out to my awesome YouTube members and patrons, Riptide, Anna D, Z Wanderer, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlo, Lucky Charms, and Sam Adina for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7S3, War of the Walkers mod. So I'm just going to keep on going from where you left off. I want to check this out quickly. Um, it's a shame that you can't always see the value. Sometimes it gives you the unmodded value, like it tells you which one's better. But since it doesn't always, I'm going to try and do this. Oh, nice. Okay, so we had a purple legendary shovel that was weaker than this one. But now it shows you that this one is weaker than this green one in all regards. The purple one was better for these last three stats. But I'm also looking for damage and stuff. So this one's weak. Now we can use the green one. Nice. The green one's actually OP compared to the crappy one. I just hope that we can actually find a crowbar as well. And when we find the legendary crowbar, it's actually better than the tungsten. Because as we just said, guys... This crappy shovel, where did I put it just now? This crappy shovel was better than a purple legendary, but it's weaker than a green legendary. So it all depends on the stats and stuff. I think that, that purple was on the low side. That's why it was weaker. Uh, because as you guys know, there's a sliding scale of how the items work in the game. Some items are like on the high purple side and some on the weak purple. And unfortunately, we found a weak purple. If we can put this away. We'll be able to sell that. Not for mo uh, much though. Okay, so we need to keep clearing over here. There's a ton of POIs that we need to clear. But I think let's just first go back to the base and drop a few things off. Where do I need to go? This way. Uh, let's go to the base, drop a few things off. We need to go hand in these quests to the trader as well. Constantly on the lookout for more of those pointy stones. Um, guys, I was actually thinking about it. I was like, oh no, I'm so mad at myself. I'm not going for them early game. They're so worth it. I mean, you guys have no seen We are mil a millionaire in the game right now. Because of the fact that we're selling all of the stones and stuff. Well, it's also Horde Knights. But a lot of the money we have is due to the resources we got from those pointy rocks. But so many of those rocks inside the pointy rock is like 1.5 and 1.2k HP. Early game, when you only have a stone pickaxe um, or stone axe, how's that going to work? Obviously, if you can get, uh, get the resources from it, you might be able to buy yourself something better. But even then, the chance of actually finding something better is low. And your stamina is going to be so low, you won't be able to do anything anyways. Okay, um, let's quickly grab the stuff on our bike. Oh, now they're going to jump off. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do here. While this is still my base, I'm actually thinking of just adding stairs. If a wandering horde comes by and they knock, some, uh, knock on my door, fine. Then we'll face them there. But for now, I, I don't like the fact that they keep on jumping down. So let's see if I do this. They should follow me up because there's a ladder now. And when I jump down, I want to see... Nope, oh, they didn't follow me. Okay. Uh, I wanted to see if they actually still jump down or if they take the ladder down or not. Okay, so I'm just really going to do some inventory sorting and I'll catch you guys back now. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. I heard one zombie's noise, but I didn't notice there was a ton of zombies here. Oh, she just got a free ticket to me. Was it Jamie just now that teleported all the way to me? I hope that they actually start teleporting more because the problem is at the moment they're going to start damage my, uh, damaging my walls. So what I need to start doing or thinking of is perhaps moving everything a floor up and then replacing these walls just with bars. But then again, if they're on the top floor, they're going to still shoot at my bloody stuff. They can easily damage all of this. Without even meaning to, they can damage all of this. Okay, what I want to quickly do as well, um, we should be able to make a few more of these too. We don't put these away. I was almost done putting everything away and then I heard a ton of commotion outside. Okay, we have everything. Okay, uh, and tools we have. The shovel over here. Always make sure you drop everything, guys. Sometimes it, it's hard. It's easy to forget that there's stuff in your tool belt as well. It's only once you're out and about in the field that you realize, oh no, I have ammo on me that isn't supposed to be there. Okay, turrets we put in the own box. What are these levels? Crappy qualities. See, I've sold so many turrets and they've all been purple. I could have easily had three of these turrets just helping me during Horde Night as well. Okay, that's going to go with weapon parts. I still need to get used to the new layout of my base right now. And then this one, we're just going to turn into this in case we need it. Although I'm not even really using the frames all that much. Okay, we have all four of these really new too. There's nothing else crafting over here, right? I know the glasses... All well, the glass jars should be done. I'm put those away. And we didn't have anything else crafting as far as I'm aware. 
Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, was there stuff over here that I wanted to buy? I don't think so, right? I checked. I was like, nah, there's nothing. Oh, there's tool repair kits. Definitely want to buy the tool repair kits. Just now, later on, we might actually need it. Cement, why not? Concrete, why not? The more resources we have right now, the better, actually, guys. Even if it's a waste of cash, we have the cash to spend, so why not? When I make my base at the new place in the, in the wasteland, I want to make sure that we have as much as possible. Now, there's a few schematics here that we don't know yet, so let's quickly get some cash. I mean, it's not like we need the cash or like we're short on cash. Covered armor, silver armor, crafting. See, we have a ton of these quests as well. Crafting quests. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't spend a day, but I want to go... I think let's go uh, loot a bit. And then when we get a board of clearing the town, we can actually focus on those quests as well. Because there's so many quests that gives you coin and XP. But at this point, it's, it's stuff that you actually have to do early game that you need early game. 16,000. We're going to need that for some crafting of something. I can't even remember what we need to craft, but I know we need the Kevlar. I think also, let's just get that as well. Okay. Recipes. I'm going to buy all the recipes we come across right now. Class challenge. Melee zombies. No, thank you. Uh, wait. Do not have enough cash on me. Oh, wow. It's so easy to blow through cash in this mod. I want to make sure we get everything that we might actually need later on. No, why did I get that? That was crappy. That was crappy. That was a waste of cash just now. I need to make sure I don't accidentally misclick. Also, um, I need to start buying all of the HD ammo. Like the uh, list, for example, of here. Well, it's not HD, but you guys, uh, guys know what I mean. It's like mod-related ammo. I need to buy it. Okay, this over here. Vehicles and stuff. Blade traps. Steel mini right now. We don't need any of that. We can make our own at this stage, so it's not really necessary. Okay, class treasure, we'll get that one, why not? And that's it. Okay, so to make space quickly, just really read these. Miscellaneous goes over there. Craft lockpick set. Okay, it's crafting quest, but I'm not going to do the crafting right now. And then these quests are going to be on the map until I have time for them later. Or if we come across them while we're driving around, then I'll go for them. Okay, this is a gold to bet. I'm just going to sell it. That was a waste of cash just now. Damn. Okay, and then coin. I want to make sure we always have cash on us. Just in case we want to buy an NPC. Like, if you come across more of these army guys, um, I definitely, definitely, definitely want to go and buy them. Or buy their work, if you can say that. I'll call it that. Okay, um, tool repairs go over there. And then armor repairs go over here. And that's ammo. I can't wait till, until I get that last pistol peat book. I really, really, really need that Pistol Pete book. Okay, and then that's just building supplies and resources. Okay, we can be on our way now. We just have this. The drone is empty, right? It sucks when you forget to take stuff off the drone and off the vehicle and later you realize, oh no, no, I don't have any space left. Are you going to jump or are you going to climb? You still jump. I don't know why you jump. You're going to break your legs or something. Okay, so let's really go hand this into the trader. And then we're going to be off on, uh, on our first quest. In a long... On a quest, first clearing in a long time. But guys, there are so many other PIs out there that are, wow, are still so awesome. I'm going to get to them. Good job. Okay, we're going to take that one. That one. HD cooling mesh, perhaps. And then this will be able to sell. We have so many first aid kits. We don't need that. And complete. Any more jobs? I think I'm going to keep doing buried supply oh, quests. So we don't have to focus too much on quests. If we constantly clear up your eyes that we've already cleared, that's going to get boring. And mostly their quests are pure eyes that we've already done, so that does get boring. I need to make sure we keep on buying explosives as well as soon as we come across them. Because we're going to need them for Horde Knight. I used up all of my grenades, so I'm going to have to make more as well. Which means gunpowder I need to buy. I think I used up all my gunpowder last time. Which is unfortunate, but hey, it helped a lot. Okay, ammo, definitely going to buy... Shotgun. I don't know if I'm going to use that shotgun ammo. I don't know what it's used for. Which weapon? Come on, Pistol Pete. Where are you? I really, 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 really need Pistol Pete right now. Um. Yeah, why not? I could just make my own, but if I can buy it, why not? Okay, we don't have enough cash on us right now for that. Food, bacon and eggs. Food is doing... Okay, no. I want to say food is doing fine, but it's not... 
I want to see what she's selling as well because it's been a while since I actually checked her. She might actually sell something that we need. Duct tape? I'm actually thinking of getting duct tape because I don't always have bones or glue. I have a ton of bones, but I have to turn that into glue. Okay, uh, what do you have? Ooh. Okay, yes, two more skill points. There you go. Well, you just brightened my day. I'm glad I could help you. Okay, so now we have like five. Yes, okay. So, um, let's go through all. These are all the class-related skills. Handguns, any kind of gun damage right now. I only care about the M60 and the shotgun. Uh, what else is there? Stealth, like I said, and this feral sense always on thing. It doesn't really work that well. Guys, don't get me wrong. Stealth does work. You can do stealth, but with feral sense, as soon as you shoot the first zombie, all of them wake up. So what's the point? Bundles. Cloth, leather, all that stuff you can bundle. Uh, oil, gas, forged iron you can bundle. Oh! <gasps> Unlocks ability to bundle ACP bullets. Oh, okay. It's, it's all the special ammo. So I, I want to actually see if we, if we can do that. Uh, now we can bundle all kinds of stuff. I still need pistol P to bundle... Uh, pistol... Uh, yeah, pistol ammo. Okay, nice. I should probably also go to salvage operations as high as possible. Uh, reason for that being is we need to make sure that... Oh, or physician. Um, salvage operations, when you range stuff, it's going to be faster and it's going to get more. So, for example, if you remember we were at that military camp trying to range the consoles, right? Now we'll be able to, if, if we go fully maxed out in 2.0, we'll be able to go and uh, one shot, left click or power attack, one shot those things instead of using two shots. So it saves you a lot of time and stamina not having to do that. Okay, uh, let's quickly put these things away. I thought we might actually get your dinging sound. So we still need the spear. There's quite a few books that we still actually need. You'd think by now we'd have everything, but we're still very far away from having everything. Explosives, auto ammo, that's gun ammo over here. Uh, food, I'm just going to eat as we go. And then building traps and supplies and stuff go over here. Mods, uh, we don't really need it at the moment. When we go to the wasteland, we might actually want to put on as much stuff as possible to protect from the heat, but at the moment, it's not necessary. Okay, and then make sure we have 10k cash. Uh, over here. Okay, let's go. So, first things first. We need to go for... I think we've already done this one and already done this one. Let's just go check. I can't remember what we have and have not done yet because it's been a while. But I think we've definitely done that. Yeah, that's a tower over there. We've definitely done the Dishong Tower, but I don't know if we did the POI next to it yet. Okay. Super, super loud, but okay. See, ranging cars and stuff will even get us more engines. I think already we should be able to get like two engines sometimes. But with a 2.0, we might be actually able to get like three engines. Okay, we're going to go for this POI now. This, uh, what do you call it? A crematory, a crematory or something. I don't know if I'm even saying it right. Hello, NPC. Are you going to help us out or not? Oh, wow. That's actually a vehicle. I thought it might be broken. Sometimes when it's just a broken piece of metal, you only get black metal. Master, we are not alone. Okay, the resources I'm definitely getting. I'm going to have to start looting everything, guys. Especially, look at that, recipes. Especially if I want recipes, you need to loot everything. You never, ever know what you're going to get until you try and loot it. Yeah. Oh, it's a creamery. I thought it was a crematory. Okay, these sometimes have schematics in them, so if we're lucky... I think you mostly get those books that I'm looking for right now, the schematics. You mostly only get them in like final stashes and stuff. Hopefully not, because I really, really want it. We'll see. Okay, there's always zombies over here. Okay, there's a zombie over there, and sometimes there's zombies over here. That leads outside. I think when I come across stuff like this, I know you get more for left clicking, but I'm gonna power attack it. Oh, I'm so close to two shotting it. Okay, we need to go up over there. 
Oh, come on. I might actually, actually have gotten me something. Okay. Um, what do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Okay. And boom. That's all the resources over here. I know there's a bottom floor as well. I need to make sure we get everything on the bottom floor first and then we move to the top floor. Okay, now we go up. So it's into this room and... Ooh, yeah, almost forgot about these. As all this cobble, we can actually go turn into stone. We can scrap it into stone if we don't use the cobble itself. Okay, so we go through here and... No, not here. Through this side. Hello. Ooh. Nothing that side. And stand a nice line for me. Yes. Love to see it. It's always nice when they stand in a straight line for you. You can just come on, move. If they stand in a nice straight line, all you have to do is shoot in a straight line. Nice way to quickly just get some. I wonder if you can kill them this way. You get iron and stuff and XP for hitting them. But they don't turn on you. I wonder if there's like a point where if you stab them too much, they start turning on you. We should get that way, I think. What's this side? That's locked. I want to make sure you follow the right path. It's been a while since I've actually done this BI. So it feels weird doing these again. There's a kitchen or something over here somewhere. Sometimes there's loot bags in these. Nope. And this one? Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. But just now, that's the difference in me getting a pistol beat book and me not getting one. So I want to make sure we check all of them properly. Wait, weren't we already? No, we weren't. I don't think there's a zombie that's out. Otherwise, they'd be firing like crazy right now. But I thought you opened up that door. I know NPCs can open up doors and stuff, so I want to be careful. They can open up a door that I did not want to open, for example. Okay, so we have to go down. Up and over the kitchen. There's going to be a vulture outside if we're not careful. We always run to this side and then look for the vulture. Wait, what? Where's the vulture? That's the second PI now where there should have been a vulture because there are zombies. I mean, look at this. There's definitely zombies, but I don't see the vultures. Okay, I wonder where you can get Pistol Pete books. Is it also in cabinets and sinks and stuff, or is it only final stashes? And obviously, bookcases. The guy with a shotgun outside is firing at everything. I want to definitely see if you can't, like, half the sound of guns and stuff in the game. Some of these guns are just way too loud. And it seems, uh, when I check the XML to see if I can change the noise or not, I didn't find what I could change. Um, there's more than just Jamie, or Jamie, whatever this thing's name is. Um, it seems there are other soldiers as well, so I'm actually gonna, I'm looking forward to that. Master, we are not alone. Hello. I hear you, I hear you. I'm right here. I heard him. Okay, so these zombies are super weak. I think I'm just way too OP at this stage. That's why I wonder. Are there behemoths in the mod or not? I don't know if they've been removed and a newer update puts them back in. But the problem is if you go for a new update, a lot of the times that ends up breaking the game. And I don't want to take that chance of the game breaking right now. I mean, to make it harder on myself, what I could do is just tell the NPCs to stay at the base. Then we can do all of the stuff on our own. But it's nice being able to clear places fast and get to the final stashes fast. Also, it saves you a ton of ammo if you don't have to kill every single zombie on your own. If you actually have the help of the NPCs. There's nothing else, right? Okay. Uh, and I've noticed the NPCs barely ever help anyways. As far as I can see, they help a certain way and then they get stuck downstairs somehow. Yeah, look at that. This is... Burns. Officer Burns. I wonder where's Jamie then. But they're always stuck outside for some reason. They almost never help. Well, they help halfway and that's about it. But that's okay as well. Because, I mean, we do want to have some of the action for ourselves too. Okay. Uh, water, food, doing fine. Mod, full auto. 
Did we find a weapon yet? No. We might have been able to put it on there then. Okay, so we just keep on going. This is just a normal park, right? There's nothing over here, is there? There might be. Sometimes there are zombies, sometimes not. But I mean, I'll rather just check and make sure. Okay, this looks like a kind of a cafe. It would be cool if there's like a ton of zombies in like the uh, the water over here and inside over there. They need to spread the zombie spawns as well. Why have it just be a park when it could be so much more? I mean, this thing to the left actually has me wondering right now. Is this a pure eye of some kind? Oh crap, it might be. It might be, because why are there dogs over here? Okay, so since there's zombies over here, there's definitely going to be an entrance to this place. It can't just be zombies, right? Like random zombies. Those were definitely spawners or sleepers just now. So where, oh where is the entrance? I think I might just have to dig into the side and see. Or perhaps, who knows? Uh, perhaps it might be like a sewer system or something. Okay, I'll just dig in over here and see if I can see something underneath. It would be cool if there's something else other than just that other super mine. Um, where is that? Oh, that's the next building over, over there. That looks also like the sewer system, that side. But it doesn't seem like there's anything on this side. So why were there sleepers here just now? Is it just like what I said with what the park should have been this place was? Or is there actually like a secret room or something that I'm supposed to get into over here? I didn't see anything through the world just now, so I'm guessing there's nothing there. It would have made sense with all those sleepers there that there was something hidden. Okay, we're just going to keep on going. We're going to go zigzags like this. So we're going to do... I think we've already done that side. We'll just check, just to make sure, but I think we've already done both, oh, the left side. We just have to stick to the right. I need to make sure that I only go in straight line, I don't want to do zigzags. Untouched. Oh yeah, because it's the outskirts, I don't think I've done the outskirts. Let me just check and make sure, I might have done the inside quickly. Master, we are not alone. But yeah, we've definitely not done this one. Which is weird, because I've done most of them. Okay, I'm not complaining. The more we can do right now, the better. But I think it's because we st we stopped over there. We didn't really do the outskirts much. Those outskirts, I think we definitely, definitely did. But not these over here. So I need to make sure that once we do this, uh, these ones over here now, we only go in a straight line and straight line. We mustn't go zigzag over the road. It's so easy to get confused if you're doing zigzags. Although it makes sense to do like zip one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way there. We'll see. Um, it might just it might sp uh, spice things up if we go left and right a bit instead of in a straight line. Nope, wrong tool. And I just wasted half the resources of that one. Why have you not gotten to me yet? Hello. I was about to say the fact that they haven't started firing it is weird. Okay, and since this is part of the POI, we're quickly going to wrench it. Uh, the top level, we don't need, so I'm going to power attack that away. And this is the one that we want to left click, and then right click this again. I want to make sure we get the best out of this stuff. So, uh, when it comes to cars, we don't need the whole car. We just need that second level. And then also, there might be some loot up here. Uh, let me just do this. Come on, I want to check up there. Sometimes there's like uh, gun bags and stuff like that. We might actually want to get some of that. Nope, just a backpack. There might be something in there, so let's just check. Ah, crappy pipe pistol. Definitely not worth the time just now. But there is still the sewer system down below. There's no zombies over here, right? Because burns ran straight through here. So if she didn't kill anything, that would suck. He'd be weak. Okay, yeah, she went through the door over here. I didn't hear her fire at anything, so I don't think there was anything there. And then we're supposed to go down this hatch over here. This place sometimes, especially in Darkest Falls when I'm not OP yet, this place is really tough. The second room over here, uh, there's a ton of tough zombies usually. Uh, radiators and ferals and stuff, and at the moment in Darkest Falls, I'm just way too weak to be able to do this room. 
think I even set myself a light almost dying one time. I threw a Molotov and it... I tried throwing the Molotov through this door and it hit the door. That's one thing they need to work on as well. The hitboxes of doors and stuff. Like if you want to throw through a door, it needs to go through the door. It doesn't hit the door itself. Okay, we finally have some armor we can put stuff on. This is Savage Country, just clothing and stuff. Well, more... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. that's HD. That might actually be worth putting on actual armor. Um, Let's see. Fitting. Let's just check for the fittings. Customized fittings is way better, right? So if I do this, take this off. Come on. Put that one on. I need to make sure all my armors are fully modded as well. That's just for noise. Okay, and this one. Okay, there's a improved fittings. I think this one's better than this one, right? This is 0.02. This one's 0 0.05, so it's more, it's better. Uh, okay, so what is over here? It seems all my armor pieces are maxed out when it comes to mods right now, unfortunately. So what I can do to save some space is actually go with this one over here and just mod all the stuff that can go on there. I think there's one more thing that can go on there as well. No, that's a gun. That's a weapon thing. Okay, so I need a weapon so I can put that on. I need Because there's a weapon flashlight mod and an automatic mod so i need like a pistol or a rifle or something and we'll be able to put that on there okay and then i should probably also start doing this while the drone is yeah let's just put all of the stuff that can't stack we don't need that stuff that can't stack we'll put over here i think the frames and stuff might be able to stack i'm not sure about that don't quote me on it Okay, and then food, yeah, I think while I'm running, I'll just eat and drink that. Okay, let's go. Now she's blocking the door again. Come on. Is it a he or a she? I don't know if it's Jame or Jamie. And, well, it might be a guy in either way, so I have no idea. My bike is in front. Bulletproof glass. I could have just as well just jumped over. Now this one... It's a ton of bookcases, so hopefully we get lucky and get the last Pistol Pete books. I, I don't even have an idea of how many Pistol Pete books we need. But that's a problem, because how do I know what I'm looking for if I don't know how many I'm supposed to be looking for? Hopefully it's just one Pistol Pete book. But remember, the chance of you getting a Pistol Pete book is already low. The chance of you getting the Pistol Pete, uh, Pete book that you want is even lower. Okay, so you're supposed to jump through here, right? This has been changed. This has definitely been changed. I don't know if it's for Alpha 20 or for this mod. Usually there's like a hole here, a massive hole. Not just windows broken. And sometimes there's a spider over there. Oh, she was still alive. Damn. Tough girl. Bathroom, nothing. There's definitely going to be zombies over here. Oops, 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 oops. Come on, ladies. Do your job. It seems the ladies are just, just strong enough to knock them down, and that's it. So other than knocking them down, that's basically all they can do right now. So, for example, guys, a full car, you don't need the first layer. Let's get rid of that. I want to left click so I don't waste the HP on this. Left click, and then right click and left click. I want to make sure we, we save as many resources as possible. Or get as many as possible. Oh, there's a bear outside. Probably gonna try and break in through over here. Yeah. Oh, you're a bear. Yep. I've never actually checked the, uh, the back room over here. I only recently found out there's actually something back here, but there's basically nothing in there, so there's no point. It's just a waste of ammo to go through it because you don't really get anything. Okay, um, that's a ton of wood. Don't need the wood. Let's keep on going through this place. I'm going to clear it as fast as possible. The feral sense on all the zombies should come for me right now. M60. It's a book. Okay, we can go through there. Move, 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 move. I have no idea what the hell you guys are firing at. Move, please. 
Okay, so we went there. We came from there, so we need to go this side. That's just a waste of ammo. <laughs> I thought I might be able to break through the door faster, but that was just a waste. Yeah, they are definitely trying to shoot the zombies through the windows, which is annoying. Because obviously they can't. Oh crap, there's a dog somewhere. Okay, so they at least saved me from the dog. Nice. But this place looks a little bit different from what I'm used to. It's throwing me off. It's definitely not the same PRI that I'm used to. The layout is more or less the same, but the way it looks is weird. I'm supposed to go this way, for example, but it seems like you can go this way. Please move. Please move. Seems there might be a wandering horde outside. Or just a wandering zombie. Come on, why are all these bookcases empty? Okay, so I think we would... Yeah, we're gonna... We would have broken through there anyways. There's nothing else here, right? Move, move, move. Thank you. There's nothing else over here. Make sure there's no cops or something standing ready to puke or vomit. Or puke or explode, I mean. Wait, what the hell is wrong with the stairs over here? It looks definitely different, like way different. Nice. Just stand in a row. Just stand in a row. All you have to do is stand in a row for me. Oh, wow. Hello. It's the first time I've actually been hit by its puke. Or oils, or whatever you call it. This thing is definitely different. I'm loving the change, though. That's not what I'm used to, but I'm loving the change. I can't even remember if it was like this in the beginning and, uh, or not. That's how much- that's how different this whole thing just looks. Oh, there's a zombie right there. Hello, are you- aha, you're stuck. I feel sorry for her. Yeah, okay, she's still alive. But yeah, this place looks awesome. It's completely different from what I'm used to. These zombies are so impatient, they tried getting through the walls, but they couldn't. Okay, uh, final stash right there. Anything else over here that I might need? I mean, we don't really need the wood, but if it's there, I'll just grab it. Technically, I'm supposed to grab all of this as well, but I don't think we need... In this mod, we need that as much as we do in, like, Darkness Falls. Okay, what do you have for me? What do you have for me? Honey, not bad. X. Well, they actually have at the moment a legendary axe, so there's nothing better than it. Okay, and still, guys, um, this thing's better than our crowbar, which is bad. Even though the power attacks obviously take way more stamina if you're using this one, it's just way faster. Okay, users, that's what we have right now, and damn, not the one I'm looking for. I need a pistol peat book. I really do need that pistol peat book as soon as possible. Okay, let's just put this back on, make some space over here. Why am I scrapping that? I don't know what I'm going to need it for, but I mean, while we can scrap it, I'm going to scrap it. Okay, I think I'm going to call the episode here, guys. Um, We need to keep on, we're just going to keep on clearing, have fun. As soon as we get bored of clearing stuff, we'll go and see if we can't um, do some quests at the base. It's been a really long time since I've done those quests. Uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, when you start off this mod, you actually get a ton of class quest mods. Uh, but what I'm referring to right now is other mods that, even when the class of quests are done, there's still mods out there they can do, or quests out there they can do. And if you do these quests, look at this, craft quests and stuff like that, you can actually get a ton of Duke's uh, tokens and XP. And if you have an XP boost active, you get even more for these things. Look at all these quests we have. Most of these are just crafting things. And we should have the resources for that stuff. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like it with your friends, comments and tips of feedback down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more War of the Walkers fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.